Oh no. I'm shot. <sighs> Suck. Whiskers. <laughs> Whiskers! Good morning. I'm ready to watch the sun come up one last time with my clothes on. <laughs> oh, yeah. Last hike with Karma Dog. <laughs> She's the only family I got. She goes everywhere with me. But I gotta leave her because I'm flying out tomorrow morning. It's gonna be a good one. 4.30 a.m. and this will be our goodbye. Hi. Bye. Saying goodbye was a lot harder than I thought, so I'm already missing my family, but soon I'll be home and I'll have an adventure to talk about. This island looks absolutely postcard beautiful. When I was younger, I did some backpacking, got into just hiking around in the woods, but people would think that I'm not that tough just because of the way I present myself. Even my dad said, you won't make it past one day. So I'm out here to prove to him and myself that I can pass the most ultimate survival test of my life. I have never been in an environment like this before. The majority of my life I've spent alone in the mountains, but uh, not really alone because I've always had a dog with me. When I was about nine years old, my parents started dropping me off to go camping by myself. They just leave me. It's go time. Hi, I'm Angela. I'm Darren. Darren has this wild Tarzan look. It's not what I expected, but he seems laid back, so that's great. Do you have a family at home? Uh, I have a dog, that's it. <laughs> that's family. I haven't found anyone to uh, fully understand my wild ways, and I'm not gonna change my ways, really, so uh, I just have a dog. She, she's the best family I've found so far. You? Zero dogs, but five kids. You got five kids, that's, that's enough to take care of. <laughs> yeah. You don't wanna know how many things I killed as a little kid. I like to try everything. So far this year, I've eaten like three types of chipmunks, two types of squirrels, Ugh. a bunch of marmots, a couple little birds, had emu and ostrich, <laughs> lots of buffalo, lots of elk, deer, wild turkey and domestic turkey, spruce grouse, a goose, a couple ducks, a couple porcupines. Hope you're not too worried. <laughs> <laughs> I try not to bite. Darren and I are about two years apart, but I feel like I'm a little bit more of the adult, maybe like the way older sister or the aunt. Angela seems cool, but she's got nail polish and toe polish. I hope she's not someone that is so used to the luxuries of life that she can't live without them. I've been around the world in tropical rainforests all over the place, and this is pretty typical. I don't really have anything to prove to anybody else. I'm just doing this for my own self-satisfaction to see if I can do it. Being a Green Beret, I'm very confident and determined I'll make it to 21 days. You want a piece of me, boy? It is intimidating coming into an environment that I have never been to in my life, and it feels kind of surreal. I'm mostly excited about gaining more self-confidence. I don't want fear to be a reason that I don't do something. Prepped and ready. Being naked doesn't bother me at all. I'm fairly open guy. I think pretty much everybody I went to college with has seen me naked at some point, so being naked is no big deal. Let's move. Hi. Howdy. <laughs> My name is Bo. I'm Debbie. Nice to meet nice you. Nice to meet you. <laughs> <laughs> that's, that's my bag. Is that your bag? Awesome. Along with a bow drill fire kit, Bo and Debbie have each been allowed one survival item. I see I got my mosquito net that also doubles as a fishing net. Awesome. So, um, I actually thought about bringing that, too. Great minds think alike, right? Yeah. I brought my machete. That's going to make things way easier. Yeah. <laughs>